certified most accurate. Well, we had a pretty toasty day for Father's Day today, but hopefully everybody was able to get outside and enjoy it or just to stay inside and enjoy it. Either way, it was a beautiful afternoon. Any of the rain that we saw stayed down to the south of us right along the Texas border thanks to a disturbance affecting northern Texas. But we are going to continue to see a lot of sunshine on the way through the upcoming week. Temperatures are going to be climbing to those lower to mid 90s as we start off the work week. And with the humidity at times, we'll feel as high as 100 to 105 degrees in the afternoons. So we definitely stay hydrated and head indoors, take some breaks to help cool you off. We are tracking some rain chances, though, as we head towards next week. And a cold front is going to be moving into the area, bringing more rain and thunderstorms back to the area. But we definitely don't need that rainfall right now. We're still running over nine and a half inches above normal for the year on rainfall. And in June, we've already seen nearly a five inches of rain on storm shield radar. Very quiet conditions out there. No rain here in eastern Oklahoma. But as I mentioned, we do have the disturbance just down to our south. It's been bringing heavy rains, even a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect right along the Texas border. And so they are seeing some flooding, major flooding right along in that area. And this afternoon storms are just making that situation worse down there. If you are headed out to any of the green country lakes over the next couple of days, Keystone still running 22 feet above normal for Gibson up 24 feet, Lake Tenkiller up 26 feet, but it's beautiful out there in South Tulsa. We do have strong southerly winds providing a nice breeze and a little bit of relief from all of the heat. We're at 88 degrees here in Tulsa, dew points in the lower 70s, which means it's very humid outside. 86 in Bristow, 85 in Old Mulgee, 84 in Okima, 87 right now in Muskogee as well as prior. With the humidity though, the entire area feeling like the 90s, even feeling close to 100 degrees in Shawnee. 102 is what it feels like in Chandler right now and 97 in prior. We are going to see our winds subside a little bit as we head through the evening hours, but winds is still about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wind gusts still up to 25 miles per hour. And on future track, we're just going to see some clouds making their way into the area as we head throughout the evening hours and then clearing skies for tomorrow morning and even sunnier afternoon on the way. Notice those winds picking up from the south 10 to 25 miles per hour. So it's going to be another breezy afternoon, which is great because when you're outside walking, <laughs> that breeze does provide significant relief. Tonight, temperatures are going to be in the lower 70s to mid 70s, just like this morning. 73 is a low for Bristow, 71 Okmulgee and Tahlequah, 72 in Pryor and Grove and Tahlequah looking to start off Monday near 74 degrees. By lunch tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures near 88, highs near 94, strong winds throughout the day, but we don't have any rain to contend with. Bartlesville looking at high near 94 degrees, 93 in Coffeyville and Pryor, 91 in Muskogee, and 94 in Stillwater. So the high pressure is going to control our weather through most of the week into Wednesday and Thursday. It'll start to slide off to the east. And as we head towards the weekend, our next system is going to be moving into the area, bringing more clouds back to the region. Also, rain chances for Saturday and Sunday. And and our temperatures are going to be dropping back down into the mid and upper 80s as we head towards next weekend. That's a lot of 90s. We do have some uh, relief. 86 doesn't seem too hot. I can deal with that. Oh, well, good. You just have a week to, to go. get through. No big deal. Nothing will change then. No. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for sports.